every time I run out of video ideas, I really should just start being like, I'm going to start eating healthier because without fail, every time I try to make like a lifestyle change to what I eat, one of these people comes out with some new food thing. That's it. That's my intro. Hi, I'm Amanda and you're watching Small Entertainment. And today I am reviewing the Mr. Beast bar from Mr. Beast in collaboration with Feastable. Bulls. Feastables. I'm so great at my job. Can you tell? The reason I said what I said in the opening is that without fail, every time I decide I need to be healthier, make healthier choices. There's various reasons of why this, you know, has triggered my brain having this lifestyle change. You would think that maybe it was the new year, like this was one of my resolutions or one of my goals for the new year. No, I came to this conclusion because um, I rediscovered bread with olive oil and balsamic vinegar, and that's all I've been eating. That and I polished off four boxes of Thin Mints on my own. I need to eat better. That's just where it's at. But then Mr. Beast is like, uh, hold my chocolate bar and dropped Mr. Beast bar. So I'm a little annoyed, but also I need content. So thank you. So on their about us, it says boomer chocolate ingredient lists are low key trash. So Mr. Beast decided to make his own without the junk. Apparently the Mr. Beast bars have four based ingredients and that's it. And they use organic cocoa and all of that. We are on a mission to change the way you snack. We created delicious snacks with ingredients you can trust. I mean, I don't know if you came out with a bunch of delicious snacks. I think you came out with three different flavors of a chocolate bar, which is Chocolate, you know, I think snacks is more than just chocolate. So, I mean, that's just me. I mean, I do think that you would probably make bank if you came out with chips. Just my suggestion. The deets created by experts, organic ingredients, no artificial flavors, ingredients you can pronounce, delicious app, find us IRL, go puff, delivered fast and Walmart. You can buy, that is pretty smart that they have them in Walmart. They have sugar cane, cocoa bean, cocoa butter, and sunflower lecithin. Sunflower lecithin is something I've actually worked with before when I was working in a coffee shop. We used to make our own uh, syrups for our mochas, both a spicy mocha and a regular mocha. And lecithin is one of the things that we used in our spicy mocha to kind of keep everything together, but also kind of to keep it from coagulating in like a harder fashion. So, I mean, it is all natural. It's not like there's any like bad ingredients or anything in it. So obviously because it's Mr. Beast, he can't just come out with something. He has to have like a thing associated with it. So previously he did Mr. Beast Burger or just Beast Burger. I have previously reviewed that and that was like a whole ghost kitchen thing slash actual location slash mostly ghost kitchens. A lot of them were done through Buca de Beppo's here in California. We talked about that previously. I also went to one of the locations that was listed on their website and it didn't exist. It was like a Wetzel's Pretzels in the spectrum. You get my point. Mr. Beast Burger is still functioning. Um, the last time I actually heard of them, heard of them when they announced, I think the dream burger that had avocado and they somehow managed to make this burger look as least appetizing as possible. I don't know what the deal was. I don't know if they're like, oh, this is like cool. It looked disgusting. Like they managed to make avocado look unappetizing and I didn't fully know that that was possible. So Mr. Beast obviously with these chocolate bars is also doing giveaways. Yay. So I got the sampler. So I got a whole box. There's 18 bars of here in here, six of each. So we've got the almond chocolate with almond chunks, the quinoa crunch chocolate bar and the original chocolate. And so it's got four ingredients, five ingredients and five ingredients. So the base chocolate should all be the same. And then the added like almond and quinoa crunch is going to be what changes the flavors. Apparently there's $1 million in total and prizes potentially. You could also win Mr. Beast Chocolate Factory and be featured in an upcoming video. So more bars equals more tickets. So I actually did type in one of these last night just to make sure it was working. So obviously part of this video is going to be me typing in every single one of the codes on the backs of these things. Don't worry, by the time this video goes up, <laughs> I will have already submitted them. They will not be working, so don't even try it. I'm basically just entering into the sweepstakes and then I think I'm not gonna know the results for like two months or three months. So I'm mainly here not to review if I get prizes or not. I'm here to review the chocolate and let you know if this is worth it or not. Maybe you wanna scurry on down to Walmart. I'm here to tell you if I think it's worth it or not and if it's worth the price. So for the variety pack, that's what I got. It was $49.99, which for 18 bars of chocolate and they're like pretty decently, here's my head for size comparison. They're pretty decently sized things of chocolate. William hates when I put stuff in front of my face because the mic's right here. And he's like, it messes up the audio. Why do you do that? Sorry. 
So $49.99 for the variety pack for just one of the uh, 10 packs of e any of the individual flavors. It's $29.99 through the website. I had this thing where apparently you could get 30 bars and free t-shirt, but I just, I didn't get, I didn't know that was an option, so I didn't get that. So it looks like there is a gaming console that looks like it's Mr. Beastified. Is that a Tesla? That's a Tesla. I'm gonna be honest. I don't think I'm willing to drive around to Mr. Beast Tesla. If it does come with all the decals and I win a Tesla, obviously I will not complain. But the first thing I'm doing is painting that thing. <laughs> I, I'll get spray paint, I'll do something. I don't care. When I got my new car uh, last year, I purposefully did not get a Tesla because I don't want to date my car. So that's what it seems like Tesla owners are doing, the way they speak about their cars and the time commitment of a Tesla. I'm not in a place in my life where I'm ready to commit to a car in that way. There's also a boat thing, a ski do, and then I think what looks like Beats AirPods, Mr. Beast buy it. And then the factory itself and the like fly you to the factory. Should I just start with the original chocolate? Should I? I feel like the bar's already broken inside, hold on. Wow, that chocolate smells really good actually in there. That just hit me in the face. Okay, so the bar is pretty much broken inside the container. No idea if you can tell, but here's, they say share on the top or, oh, share devour at the very bottom. That's what it says. Okay. I mean, it's chocolate. <laughs> hmm. It's not bad. I'm just trying to think of like how to properly, it's not too sweet. I will say that it's not like I, I don't know what it is. I have some weird sensitivity in my teeth right now. So anything that's too sweet, Causes me physical pain. No idea why. I really should probably go to the doctor. But this isn't doing that, so that's good. Yeah, it's not too sweet. The bar fell apart, but I mean, at the end of the day, it is a pretty skinny bar. But I mean, the fact that it broke, not surprising. I didn't keep these in the fridge before doing this or the freezer. Typically with chocolate, I keep it in the freezer, usually. I would do that, but these I just left, I got the box and I just left it on my counter for like two days so I could film this video. So that hasn't really helped the whole keeping them chilled and keeping them from breaking. It's good, the flavor's not overwhelming. I do think that's partially dangerous because I probably would eat this all in one sitting because it's not like too rich and it's not too sweet, but I do think it's dangerous. So some of the uh, nutritional facts, there's two servings per container. Half the bar is a serving size. Calories is 170 per serving. Total fat, 11 grams, saturated fat, seven grams. Trans fat, zero grams, cholesterol, zero, sodium, zero, total carbs, 17 grams, fiber, two grams, total sugars, 13 grams, including 13 grams of added sugars, 26. Designed in Greenville, North Carolina, product of Peru. Oh, and Best Buy, 26th of April, 2023. So I've got over a full year to enjoy these bars. So let me try the other ones, and then at the very end, I will sit here and plug in all of the codes. So we're gonna do the uh, quinoa crunch chocolate next. I want to keep the packaging for my internet collection. I feel like I talk about that a lot and I never actually tell you guys what's in there. And that's because it is just an amalgamation of random shit. To some degree with influencers and content creators, Jimmy classifies as both, if not as the content creator right now. I can't deny that I'm not impressed with things like this because I think there are a lot of creators who don't think about next steps. I always think that taking steps like this that aren't just like merch drops and things like that, I do think is very impressive. And I know it's not just him sitting there. I know he's a team. I know he's business managers and all that other stuff working there with him. But I am impressed by this one. Creators, you know, take the time and do things like this. All right, so this is the quinoa crunch chocolate. I don't know why this one tastes different. And before someone says it's the crunch, I don't think it's that. This one is way sweeter. I don't even know how to properly, it's the same amount of calories, right? What's the sugar? Yeah, this has one extra gram of sugar added. 170, yeah, why is this so much like sugarier? That may have been the worst way I could describe that to you. Yeah, like I don't know why it's so much sweeter. The crunch is there, it's not overwhelming. I usually don't like crunch in chocolate bars, I just typically don't. The crunch is not bad, it's not overwhelming. The pieces are pretty small for the crunch. I feel like I got it on my face, did I? No, it's not bad. It's just weird, weirdly way sweeter. I was not prepared for that. It was like a punch in the mouth. Regular chocolate. No, no, I'm not insane. This is not nearly as sweet. Hermes, am I insane? I don't know why he's being so quiet. The fact that I have chocolate right here. Have you learned that this is not for you? 
Is this the one? He's a really weird dog. I love him to death. He is a menace to society, but he goes against literally every other dog I've ever had in my life. He doesn't like peanut butter. He's like, he's like okay with it, but he's not obsessed with peanut butter the way that every other dog that I've ever known in my life has been obsessed with peanut butter. But he does also think that everything belongs to him, but apparently not Mr. Beast chocolate bars. So um, Mr. Beast, I apologize. I don't think your bars are Hermes approved. I apologize. Okay, so now we're doing the almond one. See, I don't like nuts in my, I'm a, I'm a chocolate purist, okay? I like dark chocolate, I like milk chocolate, but I just don't like adding things to my chocolate, you know? Except for dark chocolate and caramel salted, that's fucking incredible. Whoever made that deserves... <sighs> Sometimes I wanna make jokes and then I'm like, eh, is that too much for a video like this about food when I'm talking about chocolate and eating chocolate? <laughs> I hate myself. So far this bar, is the only one that I've picked up that's not broken. I don't know if it's the nuts or what, but it is all in one piece. Should I show you guys it all in one piece then since it's all in one piece? Okay, hang on. Usually I would buy someone dinner before I took off their wrappings, but you know. So it says share and devour. You can see the nuts in the back. <laughs> As I'm just fingering this whole part. That's the great thing about living alone is I know I'm the only one eating this. Okay, so I ripped off the share bit. Oh, I got like no nuts in that, but that is way sweeter. Oh my God. Food science people. When you add things to chocolate, does that just automatically mess with the sugar contents? I don't think there's that much sugar in rice, quinoa, or in almonds. Both of these bars are infinitely sweeter than the regular chocolate and the regular chocolate and these ones don't have any added sugar. If anything, they have less sugar added. I know someone's gonna be like, you're complaining about the sweetness of chocolate. <gasps> yeah, it's not like bad. I'm, I'm okay, I shouldn't say I'm complaining. I'm acknowledging that there is a, a difference in the flavors. Oh, there's my tooth. I need to go to the dentist. <laughs> Again, it's a skinny bar. You can only get so many almonds or nut fragments. The bars are not bad. And I want to point, like, just because I'm complaining about the sweetness, it's just, it's catching me off guard because the, I purposefully started with the regular one. So I had like a baseline. This is my baseline. Okay. And the other two are significantly sweeter. I don't know what it is. I think that the almond is sweeter than the quinoa. I don't know if that's because nuts sometimes can have almonds of sugar in them, right? I'm not a nutritionist. Do not ask me nutrition questions. I simply look on Instagram to see what the hot people are telling me to eat for dinner. And that is really it. I compared the quinoa crunch to the regular one. Let me compare the almond to the regular one and then the quinoa and the almond to each other. Okay, okay. See, honestly, I don't know if I would pick it up even that much if I hadn't started with the irregular one. See, I'm insane. I will take this package to save it. I'll probably give away the other ones. So I'm not just hoarding chocolate. Yeah. And also, I don't think this classifies as milk chocolate. I think this is just like regular chocolate cocoa because there's no added dairy or anything. Ingredients, cane sugar, organic chocolate liqueur, organic cocoa butter, and sunflower lecithin. May contain peanuts, tree nuts, milk, soy, and wheat. Out of information. But that's usually because of where they make it. Distributed by Feastables LLC, Dallas, Texas. This is just melting in my hands. Of the three, I'm liking the original chocolate bar the most. But again, I don't typically like added things to my chocolate. Now I'm gonna try the almond with the quinoa and see where that goes between the two. Cause this taste to me, like just tasting it by itself, tastes like the sweetest of the three. It's not bad. I'm just, I, I know my face is not helping and I know there's chalk in my teeth. It's just that sour is not the word. I'm trying to figure out stinging is not the word. It's almost like it's shocking my mouth because it's so sweet. I sound so fucking stupid. Oh my God. Okay, here's this one. Ah, my tooth. Yep, I'm going, I'm going to the dentist. I'm gonna make the appointment. Between the three, the almond chocolate is the sweetest. No idea why. I, I don't know if this is the same with chocolate. I'm familiar with bread. I, I didn't go into the bread baking kick of the pandemic, but my dad, like many dads, goes through phases of like, I'm gonna learn how to make this very specific thing in the kitchen, mainly bread. He goes through bread phases, like once every three years. Pre-pandemic, he went through a bread phase. And what we would always do is add olives and various other things into the bread. And oftentimes, the area around the olives and things like that, it kind of, the flavor of the olives it goes into the bread. It's very nice. It's great bread. Fucking incredible. I'm wondering if that's kind of like this, where the sweetness of the additives is adding into the sweetness of the chocolate. Like it's being absorbed out of the items themselves and going into the surrounding chocolate. 
I could be insane. Chocolatiers, comment down below. Food scientists, comment down below. So I'm now going to take my time and be insane and sort through all of these codes, every single one of them. So on the back of all these codes, there is a QR code, scan to enter giveaway. And then on top of that, there is a sticker that you have to peel off to get a code. So I'm just gonna peel all these off and stick them onto my iPad, which is right next to me. And I'm just gonna scan them all in in one go because then I think that's the easiest way for me to do this. Hermes decided that while I was doing this, he really wanted to get at the bars that I was ripping the stickers off of. And so he uh, tipped over my iPad, which is where I stuck all the stickers. So I just had them all in one place. That brought my iPad down to the floor and he freaked out because it fell and it scared him. So he bumped into the tripod with the camera on it. Luckily nothing fell other than my iPad. <laughs> Hermes. Little goblin. <laughs> That's what, no, you're not eating my apple pencil. It's just not happening. Mother okay, hang on. <laughs> took off all the stickers. Prob took me a odd amount of time, mainly because sometimes the back sticker, cause there's the top layer of the sticker and then the back layer of the sticker that actually has the code on it. And sometimes that would be stuck to the packaging itself. And so I'd have to go through like all four corners trying to rip it all up. So I ended up doing that. I did mess up my nail, but you know what? I shall live. See what I go through to bring you guys the truth. I did scan in one of these before. I don't remember which one it was, but I did do it. I'm gonna scan the QR code on one of the chocolates, scan it in, sign in, because again, I already made an account. Fairly certain nothing's actually going to happen right now, because again, they won't be doing the actual, I think, drawing of the sweepstakes for a little while now. It's so funny how far technology comes because like I remember when QR codes were like first being a thing and like me and my friends thought they were the dumbest things ever and now they're just like everywhere. Yeah, so here it says 70 days left to enter. You have one entry, so like I said, plug one of these in. Spin to win. You didn't win this time. Last time I won, I won a video that was like behind the scenes of like Mr. Beast taking the thumbnail photos and the promotional images for this. I didn't win anything that time, but I'm still in the sweepstakes. Are any of the yellows gonna be winners? Now that makes me wonder. Two more yellows. I This is not a win. Holy crap, did I just get super lucky last night? Or is it one win per person? And then you enter the sweepstakes. Watch none of these be winners now. That's funny. Yeah, not a win. I got two more left after this one. I should have just stopped recording. I don't know why I kept recording. So I have a total of 18 entries and 70 days left to enter, which means that I'm just gonna have to wait two months before I know if I won anything. Can they tell me what the prizes are? Okay, here's the prizes. One Tesla Model 3, one gaming computer. Watch this lead to me starting my Twitch streaming game. I'm eventually gonna start streaming on Twitch. It's just a matter of space. And also I wanna make a whole big deal out of it. Like I tried building a gaming PC so you don't have to because I do think that would be very entertaining is watching me struggle to build a gaming PC. I think that would be fun for you guys. Nerve wracking and anxiety inducing for me. One palette of chocolate bars from GoPuff or at the winner's discretion, a $25,000 cash alternative to be awarded in a form determined by, yeah, I'd want the cash, I'm sorry. I don't need a pallet of chocolate. <laughs> 520 instant win prizes are available. Oh, so there were possible prizes. Are you saying I could have won fucking, oh no, 300,000 mystery videos. Okay, I got a mystery video. So I won a prize, 7,500 Feastables t-shirts. So there are instant win things. I just happened to be one of those assholes that got a fucking mystery video. <laughs> that is funny. I'm like, oh, this is fun. And then now I'm reading this and I'm like, I fucking know. So I'm assuming that because I won the video, like I'm still able to, I'm still eligible for the grand prize, right? I mean, I have 18 entries. I'm sure some people have like 450,000 or something. Like someone probably bought like, Oh, okay, so these just at the hope of winning stuff because it's Mr. Beast. But yeah, I think in conclusion, I prefer the regular chocolate more. If you want, if you, it depends what you like. I don't like stuff added to my chocolate bars. So obviously I'm not gonna pick the almond or the quinoa crunch as my favorite because that's just typically not what I would go through. And again, I don't know what it is with the, how that affects the sugar content, but something it's just infinitely sweeter. And that for me, I, it just, I wasn't prepared for it. I'm sure if normally, like if I'd gone my day normal and then tried one of the other ones first, probably wouldn't have thought they were that sweet. I'd probably think, hey, the third one is bland. You know, the regular one is bland, but that's not how this all shook up. All in all, I like the regular chocolate better. The other ones are not bad. They're just too sweet for my taste at this exact moment. Pricing wise for the value pack, I think it's pretty good. I mean, I did get 18 full bars. 
in this box. Packaging's recyclable, which I always like. I'm seeing some of my baby cousins tomorrow. I'm probably gonna bring this and they're gonna shit their pants and their parents are gonna hate me. I will maintain my title of the cool cousin and I just need to maintain that, okay? That's just my main goal. I hope I win something, that'd be fun. If I win anything or I don't win anything, I'll probably just do a community post and then a note in the description or pinned comment of this video. If I win something substantial, Obviously you'll get a video out of it. I will milk it for content. If I get invited to that trip thing, if I somehow win that, obviously I will milk that for content. If I win that, maybe we'll make it a giveaway in and of itself and I'll invite one of you to go with me. I don't fucking know. As long as you promise not to like murder me in the hotel room. I have yet to win any other thing that I've entered for one of these videos. So I mean, Keep that in mind. Have you tried any of Mr. Beast's other things? Uh, do you also like when creators try to do different things other than just merch drops, like the Mr. Beast stuff that he's been doing? If you had a candy bar, what would you call it? Do you think that candy bars constitutes as snacks? And no, you can't just say that it constitutes as munchies. Snacks. Do you think that this is a snack brand? Do you think these are cool snacks now? I think chips at the very least have to be associated with it, but that's just me. But let me know, comment down below. Reminder, I have a podcast, The Swell Shenanigans Podcast. New episodes every Wednesday. Reminder, I have merch, like that mug back there. All linked down below. Shout out to my patron. Thank you so much for some on Patreon. If you'd also like to support me on Patreon, love this down below. If you'd like to follow me on my social media, that'll be all up here. And that's gonna be it. Have a lovely day. Goodbye. I really do need to go to the dentist though, clearly, because that that was not fun. It's like, it's not like a pain, it's just like a burning sensation, but not a, like I, I'm so bad at naming things. It's not a burning sensation. I don't know what it is. It just doesn't feel good. How about that, okay? Thank you, Adri, Alan, Cameron, Christopher, Chris, Cody, Colton, Crash, PC, Devin, Dirty One, Don, Elliot, Evan, Beckles, Hopeless, Hollow, Jucker, Ray, Joe, John, M, Jordan, Joseph, Kenny, Kevin, Kim, Kristen, Lamb, Lex, Lisa, Luis, Matt, Matt, O, Matthew, S, Meme, Lord, Red, Michael, Michael, Jane, Nathaniel, Pat, Penn, Richard, Rob, Robert, Ross, Sam, Serena, Skyler, Simon, Tasha, Timothy, Tom, Wendy, Williams, Zendry's Wink.